Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. Alright y'all, today I am doing cookies. <laughs> Alright, so I had a subscriber ask me if I can make a certain cookie. They watched my show called Cake Mix Cookies Five Ways and then asked me if I can make a spice cake mix cookie. And I'm like, oh, yes I can. So that is what I'm going to make today. Now in my description box I will have the video of the Cake Mix Cookies Five Ways. My favorite one out of the five was the strawberry white chocolate chip. So go, go check it out. And I also did another cake mix cookie called Butter Pecan. Check that one out also. I'll put that one down in my description box too. All right, y'all. So this is so simple. Honestly, we're going to be using a spice cake mix, some eggs, some oil, vanilla, and then we're going to roll the little cookie balls into some sugar. All right? <laughs> That's it. Now, if you know what a spice flavoring is in a cake mix, okay, we're going to be using... Well, we're not going to be using, but it's in there. Nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. Okay, your basic spices. All right, so let's get started making this. All right, so what you need is one box of a spice cake mix. Now, don't follow the directions on the back of the box, all right? Because then you're going to be making a cake. <laughs> follow my directions so that you can make the cookies. All right, so we're going to open up this package here, dump it all into the bowl. All mm, it smells like the holidays. We're right on top of them, right? All right. Now to that, we're going to add two eggs. I'm going to add one third cup of a vegetable oil. All right, now I've got my vanilla here, and I'm going to add one teaspoon. All right, we're going to mix this all up together. We're just going to use a spoon. All right, we got a very nice, consistent dough here. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to use my little melon baller. I'm using a melon baller because I want that small shape there. And I'm going to go ahead now and get my pan ready for us to put these on. All right, so I'm going to take my melon baller here, and I'm just scraping some in there, making a ball of it. Take it out, because that's the, about the amount that we want right there. We're just going to roll it into a ball. We're going to put it in our sugar. Like that. And then put them on our pan. All Alright y'all, I've got my last one going here, rolling it into a ball, rolling it around in the sugar, placing it on my pan here that I have parchment paper on. Alright, so I'm going to put these in the oven for 9 to 10 minutes until the, the tops look like they have cracked and that they are set on the top also. So we'll be right back. Alright everybody, look at my spice cake mix cookies. Look how beautiful these are. They cracked, which was what we were looking for, with a nice firm top and a nice pretty bottom. Look at that. Oh, Alright, I'm going to take a bite for you. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and crispy on the outside, just a little bit right there. And you got that nice, soft goodness inside. Mmm. 
And it tastes just like the holidays, y'all. Mm. All right. Let me show you what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to hide them. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put them in my cookie jar here. All right. Oh, I'm still going, y'all. This is how many cookies that one box made. Look at this. Oh, ta-da. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. How pretty is that? All right, y'all. <laughs> All right. So we're going to just lay a little lid right here. All right. All right, y'all. I want to thank you so much for watching my Cake Mix Cookie Show today on Spice Cookies. And I want to thank my subscriber for inspiring me to make these. And y'all, make sure you check down below in my description box for the other Cake Mix Cookies that I've made. All right, y'all, give me a comment down below. You know, I like your comments. I like to read your comments and respond back. So, hey, bring them on. And make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. All right, everybody, I will see you on my next holiday show.